Welcome back fellow gamers. I want to talk to you today about some more hidden gems that I like to use in my decks for EDH. We'll jump right into it. The first one is Infiltrator's Lens. So equipping this to a creature that has a good damage dealing ability is always a great way to go because it kind of makes that insta block more of a, hmm, do I really want this ability or do I really want to deal with the two extra cards that my opponent's gonna be drawing. So it really allows for you to maybe have a minimal type of uh, damage ability or damage related ability go through more often, especially if you're on a creature that uh, doesn't deal a lot of damage. So if you're if you're attacking with like a 1-3 that maybe you bounce a creature back to your hand uh, or you know maybe you draw one card instead of the two. Uh, it makes it so that it's it really gives pause to the defending player and not it's not just an insta block and the fact that it's an artifact means that you can put it into a lot of different decks and allows you to really make use of your abilities to its fullest potential now Bosium strip is the next card on the list and i'll be the first to say it doesn't belong in every deck but then if it what if it was a card in every deck it wouldn't be a hidden gem now it is important to know that graveyard order does matter so you can't just willy-nilly pick a card from anywhere in your graveyard and put it on top and call it a day. Uh, and it's important that you let your opponents know in case they want to have a look at your graveyard. You need to really be mindful that they're not kind of shuffling the cards in, whether it's intentional or unintentional. Uh, hopefully your play group isn't that cutthroat where they try to cheat like that uh, intentionally. But yeah, I think this card really speaks to itself, especially in a sorcery instant heavy deck where you're able to recur your cards one extra time, you know, counter that extra card or destroy that extra creature. It doesn't fit in every deck, mostly fits into a red-blue spell slinger deck, but more than that, I would say, you know, there are applications in white and black decks as well. Uh, green, not so much, I find. I find that more, more of those decks have, have other recursion spells that are far better than bows and strip. But definitely in red blue that's where, that's where i found my most success playing this card now for the next card have you ever drawn a card mid game <laughs> and you've drawn that card and it ends up being an early game card that has no relevance i'm thinking of like a basic land uh Lanor elves uh mana rock don't you just wish that you could grab that highly useful card in your graveyard instead and just kind of just swap them out? Maybe nobody's looking. <laughs> well, there is that ability and it's called Holistic Wisdom. It's a really good card. It does require a mana investment of two and you do have to have a card in your hand that you need to discard, but that's where the beauty is. I drew a forest. Well, I kind of want that guy's cradle that's sitting there in my graveyard since turn four because somebody destroyed it. I'll just switch that out. Again, the possibilities are really endless. I love the. I, I can't state this card. This is a great card. <laughs> its power level varies depending on what you're pulling, what your hand size is. If you don't really have a hand size or you're just drawing cards that you need, it doesn't really serve a purpose. But it's a great tool for when you either get mana screwed and you kind of maybe just want to grab another fetch back from the graveyard. Uh, play something with with try to switch it up it's great i love it uh it doesn't go into every green deck i play but it goes into a lot of them there you go there are three more hidden gems i really enjoy doing this series because it helps uh expose maybe a, a player who hasn't looked at an older card uh or an older set it really opens your eyes hopefully and maybe gets your gears training for new deck builds i would love to know what your hidden gems are maybe we can slot that into a, uh, a video down the line definitely let me know in the comments and in the meantime, you can check out some of our other videos right over here, or you can subscribe to us, which would help us out uh, and let you know at the same time when we go live during our live streams and when we upload new videos. I'd like to thank you for making me a part of your day, and until next time, good gaming.